Hello and welcome to an introduction to Public Safety Tracks, San Diego Fire Rescue Department's new paperless tracking system that will be used to replace many of the paper forms we currently use. This program is going to allow us to use a closed loop process, such as when you report something at any rank, the next person using that piece of equipment can look at what has been reported and clear those discrepancies as they are completed or repaired. It satisfies the department's reporting requirements to DOT, DEA, etc. Tracks issues and alerts directly to an apparatus facility or SCBA. So if you're using a facility for the day, you can see what has already been reported on that facility. It'll capture data currently entered on paper forms, which we have not had access to in the past. The program will also help us improve our accountability and equipment tracking, and it's going to allow us to provide reference documents and training videos while someone is doing the checks on something they may not have done for some time. There will be a clip, a paper clip there that they can click on to get some directions on how to complete those checks for the day. It allows to track issues and send real-time notifications to our customer, customer service providers, such as fleet, IT, logistics. And it's going to help us reduce the repeat reporting of known issues by showing the person who has identified an issue and whether or not it's already been reported. At the end of this presentation, there'll be a detailed process that each department user will need to go through the login. But in short, you can use this on any browser except Internet Explorer. You'll be logging in an app app.pstracks.com or app1.pstracks.com. Your username is a city email address. You'll be selecting your station and then it'll be showing you the required checks shown on your dashboard as well as any previous alerts that have been generated. Another big advantage to this program is the reporting that we'll be able to pull from the data and we can check by any time frame, any type of check section, user, SCB, etc. And then we can export it in Excel or PDF. Logistic will be issuing a series of training videos over the next few months as different phases are rolled out. But if you have any questions, look for a frequently asked questions document under the Target Solutions Logistics tab. And you can also send the questions to sdfdpstracks at sandiego.gov. This time, we're going to turn this over to Public Safety Tracks, Nathan Bergeron, who is going to run us through the initial login process. Hi, I'm Nathan with PS Tracks, which is a program that streamlines all of your apparatus, equipment, and inventory checks across your entire department. Our program is browser-based, meaning you can access it from whatever internet browser on whatever device you're comfortable using. I happen to be using a desktop computer here running Google Chrome, but it works just as well if you're using a phone or tablet with a different browser. To log in, what you're going to do is go to app one app1.pstracks.com in your preferred browser and you're going to plug in your user credentials. Your login name is going to be defaulted to your San Diego email address. So I'm going to set mine up here. And your password is going to be your six digit employee ID number. Once I hit sign in, the first time I do this, it's going to ask me to create a new password. However, you can just input your employee ID number again and it'll save that for you. So I'm plugging my email address here, or my employee ID number, I should say, and then I'm going to hit reset password. Once you're there, you can log into any of the stations right here um, and you can perform your checks, set alerts, run reports, and do a bunch of other stuff in the system. But that's for some other videos that we'll set up for you. Um, one thing that you may want to do though is if you are using this from a phone or tablet, you may want to add PS Tracks to the home screen of your device so that you don't have to navigate to every to the site every time you want to log in. Um, the way that you can do that is on an Apple device here, you can go into Safari, go to app1.pstracks.com, hit that little share button, and then hit add to home screen. It'll prompt you to rename this, and I'll just name it PS Tracks here and hit done. And what that'll do is it'll save a little app icon on the home screen of your phone or tablet for you. So you can just click into that and it'll log you directly into the site. Same kind of deal goes for Android. You're just going to go to your settings and then click add to home screen and it'll do that same thing for you. 
Um, if you have any questions on how to log into the system, please feel free to reach out to a system administrator. They'll be able to help you through the process. Or you can email us over here to help, H-E-L-P, at pstracks.com. Thanks so much. A portion of the video, we're just going to show you what a typical dashboard looks like when you log in. The station we're using is a template station where we're currently building out all of our checks. You'll notice that there's 253 personal protective equipment items due. That is actually a very high number because it is an admin number. Your numbers will be a lot less than this, and this will typically be zero because you will only have these checks once or twice a year. 61 is typical, but pre-trip or and quick check combined. 12 SCBA checks, and this is all on the apparatus, ready reserve 970. And then this column here shows you asset checks that are due. We don't have any of those built out currently, and that will be forthcoming. And then you have alerts. Alerts are discrepancies. There have been nine reported and that are still being tracked on this apparatus that are still open. Over here, you're going to see alerts column. You don't see nine because this is only going to show you those that have been shown or been reported in the last seven days or those that are urgent. And this concludes a quick introduction to public safety tracks. Look for further videos that will go into each of these sections in more detail. And again, use the frequency asked questions or use the email address if you have any questions after viewing those videos on the processes.